Hello, this is Rainer Wind speaking, and we are happy to have uh, Rudolf Kuhn today here in the web call. Uh, Rudolf Kuhn is from Process Gold, the main sponsor of the first European Business Analysis Day. Yes, and uh, yeah, we have the opportunity to talk with Rudolf a few minutes about process mining. Hi, Rudolf. Hi, Rainer. Nice to see you. Yes, uh, Rudolf, your your speech is called. Uh, huge gaps between how people believe processes run and how they actually run. This sounds very interesting, but what what, what I saw when I read your biography is that uh, you call yourself chief mining officer. So it's the first time <laughs> that I see this title. So what, is, what does that mean, chief mining officer? Yeah, you know, um, basically it's, you know, at, at Process Code, I'm responsible for marketing and sales, but at the same time, I have a long history in, in process mining projects. So um, since 2010, when we founded Process Gold, I was personally involved in, I think, 300 or 400 projects worldwide. And so I have a lot of experience in process mining. Um, and, you know, then we, we just, then I thought, well, chief marketing officer is maybe just too boring and mm -hmm. mining starts with M. So we said, it, let's call it chief mining officer, okay. because maybe it's good marketing, because everybody wants to know what does it really mean? <laughs> so, yeah, that's ex exactly um, true. Yeah. yeah, it's good opening for discussion. Yes. So um, process mining or data mining, um, I mean, more and more businesses are doing their business finally in a digital way. So you are interacting with computer systems, you are leaving footprints in the systems. Um, what what can a business analyst who, who wants to improve processes, who wants to improve uh, customer relationship management yeah. and things like that, what what can he or she do with this with this data? Well, maybe let me first tell you or or tell our guests who are here what what process mining really is. So process mining is a is a very it's a it's an amazing technology. Um, where you extract data, what we call digital footprints, from any kind of IT system. So, you know, when, whenever you, you execute a, a process with support of any IT system like SAP, you leave a lot of digital footprints behind. Mm -hmm. So to create a purchase or, or purchase request, purchase orders, goods received, invoice received, the payment, approvals, everything is somehow stored in the system. And if you really want to understand what's going on, what the different variations are, what, what throughput times are, there's no better way than to use the data already stored in your system, put it into, into, into a clever software. And our software was developed together with the University of Eindhoven. Actually, that's the, the place where process mining was invented by Professor Dr. Will van der Aalst. Oh. And you know, Will found out, or he thought many years ago, that the best way to analyze a process is to look on the digital footprints. And then to un you better understand really what really happened. You see the variations, you see throughput times, and you know, it's, it's, it's like, like an X-ray system for, for business processes. Yes, and, and you, are, you are not longer um, assuming things. It's the truth, because it has been captured by, by real systems. And therefore, uh, yeah, it's 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 hundred percent safe. But what I was thinking about is, um, do I need to be a data expert, a big data expert, or do I need to to have uh, special database skills, or is this somehow um, easy to to use uh, the software and to draw conclusions from from the software finally? Yeah, you know, again, we here we have to clearly distinguish between between two different roles in such a project. So the first part is really about data and therefore you need to have good data knowledge. You need to understand how the data is stored in your SAP system or in any other ERP system. You need to understand how you can extract the data. You need to understand how to combine this data. Actually, it's the question is how do we transform the data in a way that from the raw data and for example, in SAP, you know, you have about, about 40 or 50 different tables we use only for one process like purchasing. So the question is, how do we extract the data? How do we transform the data? And once the, this, what we call the event log is, is built, then it will be uploaded into, into our software. And then you don't need to be an expert anymore. You just push the button and the software will do the rest for you. It will show you really what the process is. 
you will see again valid you, you will see service level validation um, violations sorry for that you will see segregation of duty violations you will see throughput times you will see shortcuts you will see loops in your process you know it's 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 really like a like an x-ray system for for the human body so you don't see you know under the surface or under the under your skin but if you if you put it on an x-ray system you push the right button then you really see what what's going on and then you need to understand the picture so that's why we call ourselves maybe sometimes the, the, the process radiologist so we mm -hmm. we produce the pictures the doctor afterwards needs really or the business people really afterwards needs to understand where problems really come from to, to drill down the root cause that's that's probably uh, one very interesting right thing. of course sure mm -hmm. You know, if you if you isolate if you isolate a number, let's say you, you have a, pro, a very simple process, and then suddenly you see that some cases are actually bypassing your approval step. Mm -hmm. So you can very easily filter on on these cases just by clicking on the on the on the on the bypass. So you you select the cases bypassing the approval, and then the system will tell you, okay, what does these cases have in common? And what's the difference of these cases compared to all other cases? Are there maybe some some <clears throat> some suppliers overrepresented, or is there any uh, is there are there any 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 other attributes you know explaining why these cases really took a different or maybe unwanted way in your process? That that sounds great. I mean. Um... <laughs> As, as most of the businesses are using digital systems and as such data is simply there, it just has, has to be gathered and analyzed. This uh, sounds like a really, really promising approach to, to find out uh, behavior of people in the processes of, of, of your colleagues, of, of the um, customer sales representatives and as well of the customers. Great, great. Absolutely. You know, that, that, that's a good reason why For example, our biggest partner is Ernst Young. So Ernst Young, back in 2016, selected Process Gold to be the standard process mining tool for their internal audit, or not for internal audit, but for their audit projects. And since that, they, they developed a couple of applications based on our platform. And now in 2018, they are, they are going to use um, process mining for 100 big clients only in the DACH region, so Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And almost 100 countries worldwide. So process mining really becomes a sort of standard application, standard procedure in order to understand the business processes and really have the full transparency about, yeah, about what's going on. Great, great. I mean, Ernst and Young, actually, they are sitting in Frankfurt Ashbourne, so they can walk by. It's only a few meters away from the conference location. Okay, yeah. As I said, it's uh, May 18th. It's the first European Business Analysis Day, and we are really happy to have you on the show. So thank you very right. much, Rudolf, and uh, yeah, great to see you there. See you soon, Rainer. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>